Louisiana beer reviews. More sirens, US 61. Every day, every hour. Reasonably corrupt black lager Schwartz beer from Great Raft Brewing of Shreveport, Louisiana. Shreveport is located along the Red River. Now, in the 1800s, people did not really go into the area of Shreveport because there was a huge blockage on the river. All these timbers and old rotten vegetation and whatever it went on for miles and uh, you couldn't navigate the river. So this U.S. Army Corps of Engineers uh, man, Captain Shreve, figured out a way to break up the blockage, the Great Raft, and it, he opened the Red River to commerce, so they named the new settlement Shreveport after him. Okay, and that river is connected to the Mississippi River. It's a tributary, so you could get in a little boat in the Shreveport and come to New Orleans. You could do that from Pittsburgh, Denver, Montana. You'd have to get around some dams, but that's connected to New Orleans by water. Chicago, another place you could go to New Orleans by river boat. Okay, that is a very thick beige head. You can see it's slowly rising up. And that is a brown appearance. It's not black, but it's dark brown. Now it's about 3 320 p.m. and it's about 74 degrees today. We do have some more cold weather coming in early February, they said. Like a high of only 54 or something like that. So, Okay, uh, like I said, 5.5% alcohol, 30 international bitterness units. It says, don't let the darkness fool you. I I'm not going to <laughs> let the darkness fool me. I think what they mean is that you're going to expect it to be harsh and bitter and it's going to be smooth and nice. And it already smells that way. They use premium pills and chocolate, caramel, and Munich barley malts. Fuggles and Hallertar are the hops. It gets a very good score on Beer Advocate with 32 ratings. Only 7 ratings on rape beer, so not even enough to um, give it an official score. This aroma is almost like a porter. It's bready, sort of creamy mildly roasted barley malt with some coffee notes and some mild chocolate notes. I think somebody could fool me and tell me it was a porter and I, I would believe it. So it smells great. It looks nice. I mean, look how that head set up. That spongy head. Let's go with the flavor. I bought this at Mathern's. It was like $1.49 for the can. And this is the first video review for this beer in the world. <laughs> Well, now in the flavor, you can tell it's a lager because it's crisp, clean, refreshing in the finish, and the body is light and watery, and it's snappy. But you do get that sweetness, the roastiness, the breadiness, the creaminess, the coffee notes, the chocolate notes. I think it has more flavor and character than the Shiner Schwartz beer, although I think the Shiner is very good. Their um, black lager, which, which is a very common black lager. Um, tell you the truth, these, and, oh, and the KCCO, this might be a little better than the KCCO black lager. Um, tell you, I think the black lagers, the Schwartz beers, are a lot better than those black IPAs. Black IPAs just don't, they just don't seem right. Um, I'm not really big, big into these cross stylings and, um, they're not really IPAs anyway because it's pale ale and black ales are black or dark brown. <clears throat> they have that weird citrus flavor that doesn't seem to fit the dark roasted malts. But all this does seem to fit. Okustrature, I think, is, 
is another really famous black beer in Mongshof. Awesome stuff. So, man, this head this head of foam is staying around like like it's almost a semi-solid. This is a, an A to me. I'm gonna do a written review. I'm in, I'm going to give it a solid A. Most excellent. Here comes the Kansas City Southern Railroad. Railroad, but a train riding on the railroad, you know what I mean? Uh, look at that. That's like a, a malt at the malt shop. If I go back to Southern California next year, that'd be the 10th anniversary of that big baseball trip. I want to go to that, back to that malt shop on the main street in Orange, California, in Orange County. It's not far from a Chapman University, south of Chapman University, and then you go up to Catella, and you go uh, kind of northwest or kind of straight west in that section to the Angel Stadium. So there's some great ice cream sundaes and stuff in that old drugstore, which today I think is just ice cream. I don't think it's a drugstore anymore. But anyway, this is really good, most excellent laissez les bon temps relay. And I'm going to end this review by saying y'all come on down to New Orleans and then go visit northwestern Louisiana, Shreveport, and Natchitoches.